Hello everyone, my name is Toaster, and this video will be a let's play of Dividing Conquerors uh, faction mod, the Breedland and the Shire. I'm gonna play this on, I think I'll play this on medium medium, I'm by no means a, I'll play it on very hard, very hard. We'll try that. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get started. Actually played, oh, we won't do that. I mean, it actually could be interesting. So we're just waiting for it to load in, and once we do, we can start. Um, these videos will be around 20 minutes long, so a couple turns in maybe. It's, this is your entry screen, just telling you a little bit about the story of Breland and the Hobbits, or Breland and the Shire, as you may also everybody knows it. All right, so we have these two settlements here. We have these four settlements that make up the, and five settlements actually, that make up the Shire right here. So, I like to send my generals out and get, get them some towers built, so I got some vision on what's going on in the world. And that's a general, that's a general, that's a rebel general. And we'll start here on growth and economy. The Shire actually, before they nerfed it, we used to be very, very, very OP with its economy, uh, especially in the late game. But now it's it's still quite wealthy though. You can make money, I believe, as the Shire. As the Shire. All right, we'll take this general one here, Elf. Send him here, get some vision up here, make me a tower there. I don't like not being able to see what's going on in the world. And build me a tower here in the east farthing. Okay. The Hobbit generals really aren't that wonderful. We start off at war with. I believe Angmar, which. Hopefully the Dunlandings, or not the Dunlandings, the Dunadang can shield us from for a little bit, and the Dunlandings. Both those factions, uh, we can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I think, with the Dunlandings. We'd have some troubles, though, with Angmar, so we may have to help. For these first couple turns, most of this will be Paladin, by the way, is actually Peregrine, or Pippin, as you may know him in the films, father. He is the Tuke and Thane of the Shire, which would be the leader king, I suppose you might call it, of the Shire. And we better make this a growth policy so we can get some get some money make, made there. All right. Put this on a growth policy as well. We're not going to grow much, but we will, slowly. And we better put some units here in Bree, so maybe some... Woodland Hunters are actually very good. Cue that up, and who else do we have in here? we got Barlaman, and we have Councilman Andy. Okay. As you can see, Bree isn't. Now there's a settlement here, uh, which is... I think we'll take those guys, those guys, those guys, and Barlaman. Eh, completes in two turns. We're gonna lose money next turn, actually. Well, that's okay. We'll see how this goes. How much free upkeep are we getting here? Nothing right now, are we? One and two. So these units are free. These two units are free. And here we are getting nothing from that and nothing from that. One from that and so we get two free upkeep units. We might as well take the other two units out because they're not doing any good anyhow 
and we'll send them on a tower building mission. Here, I might move him with him, I think. Alright, and that'll end our first turn. We're gonna lose some money. Oh, I forgot to check. Maybe get some map information. <coughs> So, what can I tell you? Bree is a very old town. It was there when our main meeting gate. And what do we have? Yeah, I'll take him. Mori has been reclaimed. And they want me to take this rebel settlement down here. Okay. Well, alright then. Where's my hobbits? Send this one here, and I don't have enough money to build a watchtower. Actually, if we don't have the money to build a watchtower, we might as well combine the hobbits together and make an army and make an army and take this settlement here. All right, he's free upkeep. They're all free. No, actually, sorry, only he is. Okay. Do we have any diplomats? It's my rankings, agents. We have no diplomats. Can we build diplomats? Probably a Bree. We can, but we don't got money. Okay, well, that's fine. See how this all works out. Somehow it'll all work out. Somehow it always all works out. All right. Shire was given over fourteen seventy six third. Shire reckon third age. Something like that. Hughes, I have no money. Yes, I know I have no money. Alright. I have to up the tax rate here on these hobbits. Sorry, hobbits. I'm going to have to up the tax rate on you. We're not going to get any growth out of there anyhow, so... So, does that... Eh, less loses less money. Okay. Add them here. Add him here. Add these gentlemen here. Take you. Add here. And... We lost that battle. There's some... Ah, uh, okay. Of course there are. That was unfortunately. That's the one thing with Bree. You said early in the early game you get a lot of bandits. And if you send out single units like I just did there, which was a mistake, I shouldn't have done that, then what happens is they just get taken to pieces. There's a whole nest of them here, this forest, as long as up here. There's a couple of them up there as well. All right, we'll end his turn. Nothing that much, so we'll have to start expanding. Okay. I actually should have done that earlier. See, once again. Yeah. Alright.
Isengard and Rohan are at war. <coughs> Did we lose that entire hobbit? No, well. What are you gonna do? No, no, they're right here. Okay. Why it's so risky? I'm gonna have to take these these guys out, otherwise they're just going to bother me. I'll get a battle one here and then one turn in this video, I think. Gimli. Alright. We're loaded in. So, our bodyguards are bad. We're attacking them. We're downhill. And we got archers. Okay. I think we'll put those guys there. You guys. These gatekeepers, I think, are like uh, crossbowmen. Right, and my bando brass archers. We're gonna skirmish with all of you. Okay, and <clears throat> I think we'll get our cavalry in place here so they can flank and take a lot of those bandits down with this arrow fire. They're just bandits, anyhow. Okay, my gatekeepers. They have such a slow fire compared to the other archers, but they can sure mess this unit up. Alright. They're gonna come after us. Well, we'll take a full charge at them. Once they get close enough, we'll send... Actually, these guys might fall, too. How did that charge do? Eh, pretty good. I'd say that went fairly well. Might have to pull these guys out and give them another charge. Okay. Fall back. Please fall back. Alright. Oops. Hobbits aren't very good in, in melee, so... Gatekeepers are pretty good, though. You guys stop firing. They're gonna hit their guys in the flank. That's not very good. But we'll hit them. The gatekeepers can hold, and they will. They're gonna get pinned. Yep, by the bodyguard. Yep, there they come. Who's firing arrows? Stop firing arrows. You're firing them at killing our own men. You're gonna kill anybody, kill those guys. Poor hobbits. They're not meant for this kind of thing. Right, they're pursuing those guys. Those guys are routing. This is the thing with Bri, you don't really have this this disdain that you would with some of the other factions. I think they're like a Wildman or a Northman faction, so you're gonna take losses. You will take losses. See, we're taking those guys out. And we're probably firing at our own guys again, so stop that. Go talk. Go walk over there. Talk. Alright, Toaster. And... We've won. See our statistics. And the bodyguards. Inflicted. Well, actually, those gatekeepers did quite well. Excuse me. Poor Panda Brass Archer, so they, they, they lost a bunch. All right. Follow Fornost, but I'm not 100% sure.
So we sacked that camp. Maybe got some bit of the money from that. Okay. We shall we're gonna Yeah, we'll siege it. We'll put it under siege. Okay. So I think we'll stop it there. We've got men men Mengelin under siege. This is the Barrow Downs actually where in the book uh, Frodo and Sam and I believe Mary and Pippin were also there. They got got taken into the Barrow Downs, but Tom Bomba did save them. But that's a story for another day, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, time I'll see you.